Disclaimer. Warning. This video is a video about Ijon, BJYX. This video is only made for BJYX or ZSWW fans. If you don't like it, please don't watch it. If you are not Ijon Shiper, please don't watch it. If you're still watching it, I assume that you believe it. And if you are a new turtle, welcome to our family. All I'm going to tell you is CPN. 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 Accept it calmly and make good comments. It is strictly forbidden to comment harshly and vilify other artists. All sources in this video have been uploaded by other fans on their social media. I just collected and edited it to make it easier to understand. I put the account that I usually use as a source in the description column. Remember, all I'm telling you is CPN. Think wisely and with common sense in accepting it. Hi Chaser here. Do you like cats? Did you know that GGDD also really likes cats? Today I will discuss that. Okay, let's start the video. You must know that on January 4th, 2024, DD's Weibo updated a photo of a cat. The cat is white and staring intently at the camera. DD posted it with the caption Lovely Things. I don't know why he suddenly posted a photo of a cat and said Lovely Things. Let's discuss the CPN. In the past, when interviewed, Gigi once said that he was the cat type. And when Gigi DD was interviewed, DD said that Gigi was like a cat. posted a photo of the cat with the Cadian 141320 which means a lifetime of love. And he also sent it to Super Chat. This really rarely happens. I checked DD's Weibo again. And indeed DD rarely includes Super Chat in his posts. Regardless of the endorsement posts he posts. But his personal photo posts also don't include Super Chat. Why did he do that? Only he knows. DD said that Gigi is a nice person and has a good personality. But sometimes in reality DD is afraid of Gigi. Because he is chilly chunking. You can see the scratch marks on their hands. And our princess Jangwo is often blamed for that. According to Sister Waifen, her worthless child plays the game Hidden Sea Flowers. Actually the game is not a competitive game, but it is a thrilling adventure game that is linked to Tomb Robbing and Hidden Seas. First of all the name element of this Tibetan sea flower is particularly good. Why? Because that is the name of Gigi's newest drama. Gigi plays Shanghai. But the game genre is a thriller adventure game. It is a thriller game. Thriller. We know that DD is afraid of horror. He even sleeps with all the lights on while sleeping alone and opens his bedroom door. GG even said that after watching a horror film DD was very scared. You must remember about the ghost stories he heard in the Himalayas and even this thriller game. Is it possible for DD to play it? The biggest possibility is that GG played it. And we can see that Solo also knows how to play Kadian. And unexpectedly the cat in DD's post is a male cat. Not a female cat. Some sisters said that the green plants in the background of DD's cat are coral vines from Jijang. At first our sisters weren't sure if it was coral vine. But the background is very green. Then sister confirms that all the leaves in Zhejiang are green. We knew by then who was in Zhejiang. 
It was Gigi who was filming his latest drama. To protect it from paparazzi, the staff and crew covered it with black cloth. You must remember that there was an incident like this. In front of the hotel when going to and from work, there is a black cloth covering the door and the hotel lobby lights are turned off. So maybe you understand what I want to convey here. Maybe the photo was taken by Gigi who was in Zhejiang and he sent it to Didi. Or there was a happy visit when Gigi was in Zhejiang. 其实我觉得还挺像猫的。你说自己像猫，最大的恶龙就发了一张可爱的万物喵，不但卡点一世一生爱，他还把这张猫发到了超话宣告。我觉得可能平时在生活当中比较像猫。生活中像猫，那小宝怎么会脱口而出说战哥像猫？猫，岂不是更说明两人就是生活在一起，所以才彼此了解喽？猫，哎，可以啊。生活当中就是，嗯，不太喜欢闹腾。但是，一旦出发危机，再看战哥形容自己和小宝发的这张猫一样不好惹。虽然在小宝眼里，他的哥哥是性格超好的喵，但事实上，他也最怕他哥这个大辣椒，因为他哥不但辣，还挠人哟，就这挠痕，坚果姑娘背锅都被累了。哎，哎，哎，嗯，这,这下好了，小宝实锤万物，可爱说的就是猫。他的战哥，没人辟谣，我可就信了。据维粉姐姐说，他家那个不值钱的孩子玩起了藏海花游戏，就是这款非竞技类又联动盗墓藏海的惊悚冒险类游戏。首先，这个藏海花的名字元素就特别好刻。众所周知，藏海的大男主就是肖战，而且这款游戏还是惊悚冒险类，是谁一个人睡觉都不敢关灯。连看恐怖电影还被战哥爆出胆子小到爆炸，一起看看一个什么电影？恐怖电影，恐怖电影，哇，胆子小到爆炸哈！所以无论是喜马拉雅听的鬼故事，还是这个藏海花游戏，都像是战哥喜欢的类型啊！再看摩托怎么克小宝发的猫，哎呦，原来你们也克卡点。还知道正和反着磕时间卡点啊，连图都 P 出来了，但你们没发现小宝发的是只公猫吗？而且他发在超话也是小奥联合微博音乐做的活动要求而已，所以都吃点好的吧，要不然下次可就直接发兔子了。换个思路就感觉越来越有意思了。有姐妹说，小宝发的猫背景绿植是浙江的珊瑚藤。首先，是不是珊瑚藤我不确定，但背景确实很绿。马上就有姐妹证实，浙江树叶都是绿的。但谁现在就在浙江呢？没错，是战哥，他就在浙江横店。为了保护他，剧组都遮起了大黑布。不过，这熟悉的大黑布是遮雕的那块吗？反正就感觉和遮雕的黑布一样不简单。你品，你细品。再看这张图，拍的风格就很肖战，而且喜欢猫还有猫的都是战哥啊，看到了吗？是我的。<笑>有姐妹还把图调亮了，清晰的可以看见绿植上还有花苞。姐妹说她咨询了植物猎人，还说这种植物种在江浙的概率大于京津地区，所以说明了要不然这张图是战哥拍完发给小宝的，再或者藏海的大黑布底下藏着探班的雕。探班回来后又炫耀了他在浙江拍的猫，哇哦，差点就漏刻了这里啊！昨天小宝在这旁观者号又分享了眼中的万物可爱，我就说前几天咋不秀这万物可爱呢？原来是因为他的可爱在身边，就没空理我们了。可爱飞走工作了，就 Q 这万物可爱表相思。昨天发的十八张图里秀了四张猫咪，也只出现了二三两个数字。可爱的白帽后面更是一只标注后背花纹是爱心的猫咪，这不就是明秀他五出圈的爱心痣吗？数字连起来还是幺八四二三一博是爱战啊！在爱心猫咪下面，他说：“淡然相遇，热烈旁观。”再次表明所有人都是可爱的旁观者。你以为这就结束了吗？他还在最后出现的两张猫咪下面说了关于旁观者与万物可爱的故事，未完待续。这下知道文案里为啥是绿色的心了？他在 Q 摩托围观这份爱的回响啊！你看，这不就又续上了吗？
。昨天刚说完旁观万物可爱的故事，未完待续。今天红彤彤的奥龙就带着万物可爱的花絮来了。小石之前发的定妆花絮结尾说了 ，to be continued， 也就是未完待续。就问不是故意的，哪会这么巧？很吸引我。仔细听大宝这段描写，像不像小宝的旁观者号的框？像胶胶片，就胶片一格一格的，一格一格的。其实轻轨那个窗户也是一格一格的。就问这有区别吗？呃，也感受到像像电影一样的感觉，一格一格的画面。它很像胶胶片，就胶片一格一格的，一格一格的。其实轻轨那个窗户也是一格一格的。从窗户往外看，像一幅画一样，但是连起来看，又像是一格一格的画面。啥也不说了，我们就继续旁观一博眼中的万物可爱吧。Let's see when G G D D together with cute animals.
for today. See you in the next video. Thank you for watching.